this video where I am going to show you how to reset the security code and clear the security code on the Kenwood KDC MP238. This procedure might work on other models, but there's no promises on that. Okay, so if you have had your car worked on where the battery's been removed or if your Kenwood radio has had the factory reset done on it, then when you turn your radio on, you might be getting this message where it says enter code. Now, if you don't remember the code or you've never set the code on it, then you're probably wondering, well, what the heck do I do? Well, there is a default code that you can use. And a lot of times, maybe the previous owner had a code on it. A lot of owners like to use the code 1234. So you can try the code 1234 or you can try the default code and the default code is 3051. So we're going to try that first and the way that you do it is you use your up and down over here and your side to side. So we're going to use the up and down and we're going to go, we're going to try three and then we're going to move over zero and then move over and we're going to go up to five. And we're going to go over, wait, I went too far, and we're going to go one. Now that's the default code with a lot of Kenwood radios, and we're going to try that code. So I'm just going to hold the button in, and it says approved. Okay, so we went into standby mode. All right, that's great. So now that we've got the code approved, I'm going to show you how to clear the code and the way that you do that is you make sure that you're in standby mode and the way that you do that is you go to the source and you can scroll through different modes but like I said you want to be in standby mode and then you go over here to the boost button and you push that in hold it till you get to the menu and then it'll say clock adjust but then you use these buttons over here and scroll down until you get to code clear when you get to code clear you hold that in and then it'll say enter code and you'll put in that default code which is going to be 3051 3051 and then you hold the center button in and it says clear when it says clear you're going to hit that boost button again which is the menu button and you hit that and the code should be cleared now when you go back down it says code set that means that the code has been cleared but you can put your own code in and you just push the code set button hold it in and set the code so uh, I also uh, have a video on how to set the clock and I'm gonna put a link to that video in the description and I'll also put a link to that video at the end of this video so if this video helped you out at all then give me a thumbs up and um, like the video so that it'll be saved to your favorites and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching